Uh, so from this part of the exhibition, you're able to see namely maybe around 90% of, of all the works for the most part, right? Except for the video work where you can actually hear it, right? So that is uh, due to the design of the work. And all of my projects are designed from top level down. Bird's eye view, a survey of a landscape, all related back to work that I began in Libya at the Lake Roman site. They're all considered site museums. They're all considered to be part of a forever archive, which tries to create a template of all things that humans have made. You know, sometimes you have like nature objects that have been manipulated. In this case, you have the human body being scaled up. You have the human body mythologized, you know, vis-a-vis uh, -vis, like uh, Greco-Roman, you know, mythology. You have like certain things that we've never seen before in the history, which is namely the death of Hercules. Never happened. It's not recorded anywhere in folklore or in physical, you know, practice. Another thing that you'll notice would be that the exhibition is nothing that's centered. Also part of the design. When I did the first archive piece in 2011, as part of my thesis work at Cooper Union, I was coming from the street all of the Roman site, the late Roman site in Libya, which was all excavated by the Libyan Museum. The Museum Museums right on the site of excavation as a site museum. So now consider a fascist government enters North Africa, excavates late Roman antiquity, makes museum on site. Eventually, of course, even before that was the Ottoman era, and then after Gaddafi is now what it is. And I was there during Gaddafi's era. So now those big tableaus, right? They talk about the, the banners that said, you know, our leader, Mumet Gaddafi, right next to where you're looking at things that might be a work of Roman object. So all of those things, and you have the American politics that uh, happen in the background that was like the states to go into this space. And he said to us, they're like, well, if you're traveling to Libya, anything happens to you on your own. And as an American citizen, no one come get you. And uh, so that was kind of the atmosphere at the time. So one thing I noticed that I noticed was that politics was ominous. You know, it's not something that is happening every every day. You breathing it in. It's like a religion, right? Some kind of spirituality, you know, aligned with, with politics. You only know that politics exists when there's a riot, there's a protest, there's an election that kind of goes wrong. Otherwise, it's just sort of like so. These, this work.